Hello everyone, this is Sam. In this video lesson, we are going to learn how to create animations in JavaScript. Let's create a new HTML document. Okay, let's save this inside my JS tutorials directory. Create a new directory. This is my ninth video in the series. And my HTML snippet and the title is circleanimation.js. I'm not going to use any image in this lesson for the animations. I'm just going to create a circle using HTML div and CSS class. Div class circle. So now we need to write the definition for this class. style circle width 20 pixel height 20 pixel and border 1 1 pixel solid black color and position absolute I'm repeating this in all my video lessons absolute positioning is a very powerful type of positioning that allows you to place any page element where you want uh, exactly where you want it now check this on uh, check this out on the browser okay here we can able to see the shape square but we need a shape circle let's go back to code in order to convert uh, the square to circle we can use this simple technique border radius 15 pixel let's check it out yeah so if you don't see proper circle means you can increase the border radius but I'm okay with this let's go back to code and add some JS code to create the circles dynamically and animate them before adding the JS code I want to remove this div because we don't need this circle anymore as we are going to create the circles dynamically in JS code Okay, my action plan is 1. I'm going to add a event listener to the mouse move event. 2. On mouse move event, I'm going to create the circles dynamically. And 3. Animating them. That is animating the dynamically created circles. Okay, let's add event listener to the mouse move event. Document dot on mouse move equal to oh, animate circles. So for every mouse move, the animate circles method will be invoked. Animate circles event and and my function body where circle equal to document dot create element div. Okay, the create element method creates an element node with the specified uh, the specified name here we are creating the div element now we need to add the CSS class to this circle that can be simply done circle dot set attribute method class circle this is our attribute name this is our attribute value we created the class here so we are using it here now the create element method uh, just creates the element it won't add the add the element into the DOM so we need to add it manually document dot body dot append child and the element circle now the dynamically created circles will be added to the document but it should add the circle elements at the position exactly where the mouse point is located. Let's do it. Circle dot style dot lift equal to event dot client x. And I'm appending the px to the getting uh, to the mouse coordinates. Even dot client x and uh, even dot client y will give us the mouse coordinates. So we can use it here. Sorry equal to even dot client y and I'm appending px to this pixels okay 
and finally we have one more pending task that is adding animation to the created circle element let's check it out in the browser just to ensure nothing is going wrong yeah as you can see our code is perfect working perfectly it's adding the circles dynamically according to the mouse move event it's time to add some animation to the circles circle dot style dot transition equal to all 0 0.5 second linear and 0 second let me explain all these things to you the transition property is a shorthand property for the four transition properties one this is transition property this is transition delay and uh, i mean tra uh, transition duration this is transition timing function and this is transition delay this transition property all is to specify what all the css properties is going to have transition instead of this all you can use with it or any other valid css property name if you specify anything like that the transition will be applied only to the specific css property but i want to have the transition for all the css properties that i am going to define now and this 0 0.5 seconds is the animation duration okay always specify the animation duration property because the default uh, duration is 0 second you, so you can you don't see any transition if you miss to give this so always specify in the duration property and uh, this one is animation timing function that uh, the, the animation timing function specifies the speed curve of an animation the speed curve defines the time an animation uses to change from one set of css styles to another set of css styles the speed curve is used to uh, make the changes very smoothly we have functions like linear is is in is out and is in out is in out and lot more and finally this is the uh, transition delay defines uh, defines that when the animation will start if you give one second here this animation will start after the one second only here i don't uh, i really don't need any transition delay so i just uh, keep it as zero second okay now we add some css properties quickly to animate them all the properties after this uh, transition line will be animated circle dot style dot width equal to 50 pixel so from 20 pixel it will become 50 pixel circle dot style dot height 50 pixel before that i want to place the circles to the uh, place the circles uh, center to the mouse pointer so left equal to circle dot offset left minus 20 this will happen px to this this will be our top yeah okay let's uh, continue our styles and uh, circle dot style dot border width 5 pixel so from 1 pixel it will become uh, 5 pixel and finally style dot opacity to 0 so all these styles will be animated now in the set of CSS properties we are also setting opacity to 0 so what will happen is once all the circles uh, created uh, uh, once all the animation is uh, done that uh, circle will be faded out let's check it out in the browser wow it's looking so good let's add some flavors to this I'm creating an array for uh, to hold uh, colors, color values, and this is a gray color. This is uh, no color. Okay, this is some other color, like something like this EBA one three. I'm giving randomly. You can uh, 
you can add any number of colors you want okay let's uh, add this color randomly to the circles before this transition okay I want to add the color before the transition starts uh, math dot random colors dot length okay it will give the random number and uh, so it will give the floating point number so I want to round it I want the index so I'm rounding down this and this will be our index now okay so I'm getting the random color now I'm going to apply this color to my circle let's check it out oh yeah we are done with the circle animation in JS please remember that we are creating the div elements continuously on the mouse move by keep on adding these elements in the DOM will result in performance issue so what you need to do is you need to remove the elements when the animation is ended simply add a event listener and remove the elements to keep your DOM clean hope you enjoyed this video lesson don't forget to introduce this channel to your friends subscribe to this channel to get notifications whenever i upload a new video to this channel and you can get the copy of this document from the description right below this video thanks for watching this video we'll meet you soon in the next video lesson thanks again bye bye